Centralized. Welcome to Everything Currency. This is a show where we talk about everything crypto and mo. I'm your host, Jay, and today I want to talk to you guys about a whole bunch of stuff going on in the market right now. We're going to talk about NFTs. What's the big word in the nft space right now because there's some very interesting things going on with nfts and the royalties over there we're going to talk a little bit about this sam bankman free situation in ftt was just declared a security and what this could mean for the entire market we're going to talk about a token that i am going to start collecting and that i'm looking into this ecosystem very deeply because of its connections to this entire um carbon market ecosystem that i've been talking about lately so if you're excited about that like the video subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed and let's just get right into it so first things first let's talk about this sam bankman freed situation right here so coming right here to this article right here it says hold on hold on hold on this run right here official sam bankman freed enters fbi custody and he's set to appear in front of a u.s judge um, advocates Allison and Wang turn against him. So a lot of people are saying Allison snitching on everybody. She's about to turn everybody in and all this stuff. But obviously, you know, this dude Sam Bankman Freed is protected for sure because we just got news that he's got released on $250 million bond. So this is kind of crazy because it's like he just paid bail with uh, users' funds, <laughs> basically. He just paid bail with users funds right now which is like crazy this is crazy and he was in um you know the fbi had him and then they let him get out so i know he couldn't wait to get back um to the uh to the u.s or whatever and then they're just saying oh it fails in comparison to bernie madoff i don't care this is crazy right here so very interesting things going on this guy was able to post bombs with people's foot that's too connected too connected i don't know i don't know about the conspiracy theories right here but then um according to those conspiracy theories it's kind of turning out ftx token declared as security what does it set a dangerous precedent for binance smart coin of course it does everybody in the uh u.s uh, governmental system hates on binance they don't like binance they got rid of binance a long time ago that's why we are not able to operate on the regular binance exchange here in the United States, and now they're saying, hey, this sets a precedent for Binance Coin. This sets a precedent for all of crypto. This FTT token thing just got them exactly what they wanted. Their mans is out of jail, and now they can start cracking down a little bit harder on some of these things. Gary Gensler is avoiding all the scrutiny somehow, like everybody in the crypto space is just looking like a conspiracy theorist. He's avoiding all of the scrutiny, and as long as the Democrats gave the money back, they're looking like you know they're looking like they agree with everybody else too so this whole situation is very interesting and is bad for crypto and then kevin o'leary who claims that binance um kevin o'leary pff, won't even go there let's look at this price of bitcoin real quick right here so this is the price of bitcoin on the weekly chart you can see this blue line is a line that we need to watch well the green line is a line that we really need to well the first line we need to watch is this yellow line right here which is the 200 moving average once we get back above that that could be good once we get above it and then retest it and if we close see right here we got above it and then we didn't close above it on the next week we need to close above this 200 moving average for the crypto market to start having any type of hope First thing we need to do is get above this blue line. That's the 13 moving average. So it goes 13, 34, 200. So let's see. We got to get above this <clears throat> 13 first, which is right here at 18,000. Then we got to get above, you know, this right here, which is 21. Ooh, I don't know if that's looking too likely. That would also put us, you know, getting right here right now to the 13 would put us in a higher high, um, which would be a change in the trend. So we definitely want to see that. And then we want to get above 24 ultimately to look like we have any hope in the long term. So this could take, you know, a couple weeks for something like this to actually go ahead and play out. My phone's vibrating and messing up my microphone. My bad, y'all. OK, so let's look at this on the daily. Are we having anything on the daily that's showing that we're starting to get to those levels? Um, No, 200 average is actually above our heads. That's not not looking too good right here. What about the 12 hour? What What is this? Oh, I got to update my account. Okay, now for the chart, let's talk about artist royalties right here. So 
in NFTs, they've been having this issue uh, back in, I don't know, some time ago, a couple months ago, maybe. Um, NFT platforms started saying, hey, we're not going to uh, do the whole artist royalty things. And this was like kind of whack for artists because it's like, why? You know, why not? Um, I think they're not saying, but of course, crypto is being scrutinized right now a lot by the regulators and something like the artist royalties and something like those type of things could be used to launder money and that's what they're really kind of worried about but um and they're i know that they're probably worried about having things being cracked down on but that's a different story for a different day right now the story is that a lot of these platforms are moving to a, a model where they're not collecting royalties for artists or they're making the royalties optional now this kind of sucks um because artists like came to the nft space so they can um get those royalties because like in the artist world like you spend you know 20 hours doing a painting or something and then you sell it once and then that's it it can sell um up to a million dollars and you won't reap the benefits of your artwork you know once it's in somebody's hands so the royalties behind nfts was a very um you know very attractive thing that brought them into the space so going through this article is basically this guy's talking about hey this kind of sucks now magic eden and um looks rare and open sea announced that they're going to be doing some type of optional thing and i think they need to just leave it alone and let the artists do it um the more like the more things that people are allowed to do they should allow them to do it you know if we're gonna be free and stuff like that but artists should be able to collect their royalties and if there's any type of tax implications or something like that they'll just handle that um in that type of way that's what i think but i do agree with saying that hey taking the artist royalties um away from nfts was one of the most compelling things even for like ticketing if you take away that ability to collect royalties on resale tickets that's makes it very unattractive for a lot of people who got into the nft space for a little bit so um that kind of sucks but like i said i think it's just some of the things going on in the background not too worried about it so i've been talking about all this like carbon and all this uh eco-friendly and how the world is has this this idea that hey we want to do this net zero by 2050 which is what 30 years from now by 30 years they want to go to net zero which is emitting no carbon into the atmosphere just letting nature do what it does without us adding any extra to it and for that to happen we're going to need a nice big transition so there's going to be a bunch of stuff happening uh, a bunch of industries have to change some of the industries that we have right now and some of the main industries we use can't even do it at all so we have this carbon neutrality thing that we got to do first in the next eight years and there's a couple platforms in the crypto space that are actually like on the forefront of that and one of them that i like i've been watching it for a long time since i've been in crypto didn't get into the ico missed it and i should have got into it because now it's a billion dollar token and that's h bar hedera hash graph sitting at four cents right now but with a billion dollar market cap i think this could be um way higher in the future that's just my opinion this is not financial advice all-time high for this token is 56 cents over a year ago so it is down 92 percent with the rest of um <clears throat> with the rest of the the crypto market so um looking very interesting right there and um i won't go too much into what h bar is there's a lot of videos online about what H bar are they do a way better job of explaining it than I would do at this portion of this short video because there's a whole lot going on in the project but I will tell you something that I do like about this project and that's pushing me into the entire ecosystem is um, this um, right here which is their H bar foundation sustainable impact fund growing the sustainable economy and what this fund is is they have a hundred million dollars that they're going that they pledged towards um you know projects that are going to be trying to help out with this whole um ecosystem of you know sequestering carbon and getting carbon out of the atmosphere and helping out the environment so i think just them doing that with this this hundred million dollars for this fund then they have a bunch of other funds they also um have another 150 dollar fund 150 million dollar fund for other projects to build on a dare hash graph and a lot of their people in their ecosystem are already 
um, some pretty attractive partners, LG, um, Alvi Alvary, Dennison. I knew I was going to say that wrong as soon as I started recording this video, but it's all good. Alliance Block. So they're partnered with a lot of um, cool people already. So if you're not into HBAR, I encourage you to take a look at the HBAR Foundation. They got some pretty cool things going on there, but that is a project and an ecosystem that I'm jumping more into at this time. So let me know what you guys think about the video what do you guys think about sam bankman freed and how the u.s just got what they wanted you know what i mean their guy is out of jail he's sitting over here right around the corner for me in palo alto um hit me up big boy if you want me to pull up over there we can go over to his to his parents house and try to get an interview with uh sam bankman freed since he's out of jail now and you know they just told him hey just stay at home which is pretty crazy he he owes you know eight billion dollars they said it's missing yet yet um he had that 250 million what do you guys think about artist royalties in nfts do you think artists should be able to collect royalties in nfts or do you think that's kind of scammy do you think that's a way for people to launder money and you think that's not good if you're an artist let me know how you feel about that one what do you guys think about h bar and the foundation having a bunch of money to throw towards these carbon initiatives let me know about that like the video subscribe to the channel think positive and positive things will happen till next time rip crypto groups till next time peace